Hello, welcome. I wanted to talk to you today about TED Ed. No, I'm not talking about the TED Talks, um, not in particular anyway. Um, I'm going to be looking at the education version of TED and their website, their platform, which you can then use to create video uh, mini lessons for your students. So basically, how does it work? Well, first you need to go to ed.ted.com. So ed.ted.com and that will take you here. And once you're here, uh, you will need to register to create an account. Uh, it's free and so you don't have to worry about that. Um, I've already created an account, so I'm gonna show you how to do that, but in top right here, you just have to click on register if you wanna do a new one, and you would enter in your email and your password, and they would send you uh, an email asking you to verify and all that. Once you've done that, you can then sign in. So I'm gonna click on sign in, and I'm going to continue. And once I've logged in, it'll take me here. Now, just a note here, um, we can create video lessons from any YouTube video does not have to be anything from TED. It doesn't have to be TED Ed or TED videos. For those who don't know, TED Ed are these short, usually animated videos um, on different topics. They're actually very well done. Um, so there's a number of good lessons that are already prepared using the TED Ed and TED videos. Um, we're gonna look at some of those as examples and we're gonna talk about how you can create your own. Um, so first off, we are gonna take a look at the menu system. So over here we have discover, create, manage, support. Discover, you can discover new lessons, find lessons, series of lessons, and you can also check out their blog for more information. Create, allow you to create a lesson from scratch. Uh, there's student talks and educator talks. We're not gonna worry about that for now. Um, we also can go into and find the lessons that you have either adapted or created, and the discussions that you've had going on with related to the videos and lessons that you've created. Great, so how does it work? Well, first off, we're gonna go in and we're gonna find a video. Um, and so we're gonna go into the Discover and we can go to Lessons. This is one way to do it. And I could look by subject, lots of different subjects here. I could filter by level, duration, that type of thing. Um, and if it's age new, old, most watched, that type of thing. Um, but we can also do a search. So in the top right, we have a little search bar and we're going to search for renewable energy. All right, so done a search for renewable energy and I can see that there's one here. How solar panels work, ooh, that sounds interesting. It's about five minutes, great. So I'm gonna click on that. And here it is. I can see it's a TED Ed video. If I just go back really quickly here, you can see that some of these are TED videos. Um, so I'm gonna go to the TED Ed one here and I could watch it, make sure I like it. And you also notice on the right hand side, there's a watch, think, dig deeper and discuss. So we're going to just take a look at the lessons themselves. I'm not gonna worry about the video right now. Although it does take more information about the animations, the creators, some related ones, but we're gonna go into think and see what questions they're asking their students. So in this particular case, there's an open question, what is light? major vocabularies, all this, and then it goes into some multiple choice ones. So you have two types of questions you can use in this section, multiple choice and open answer. So we have these, and of course with the multiple choice, you can mark off which ones are correct. Then after the students have done that, they can do dig deeper. Dig deeper is, are these additional resources that you can add in. So you could have text here linking off to different things. Um, and so one of the things you can do is you can do a compare and contrast. Um, you can have two sources of information. You find things like almost like a Venn diagram. It's in this one, it's in, it's in this one, or it's in both. Um, lots of different things you can do with that. Then there's the discuss part. So the discuss has a discussion question that was set up by the um, TED Ed creator. And then people can then uh, click on that and they can actually add their opinions and so forth. There are six open discussions. Six open discussions are ones created by other people. So you have guided discussions and open discussions. Guided discussions created by the person who created the lesson or adapted the lesson like you. Um, and then open discussions are just anybody can add their own discussion questions and people can respond to that. Good so far. Let's just say I like this. I could just share this with my students and they could do this, but I want to keep it within my own class, not to the rest of the world. So I'm going to do this. I'm going to hit customize this lesson. And in customize, I could literally just take it and publish it and be done with it. And now I have, if I do that, I have a lesson that has, that is just for my class. No one else would have access to that um, unless that link was shared to someone else. But you can also do other things. You can change everything within here. So you can adapt this, you can change the questions, you could change the let's begin information, you could have the dig deeper, maybe you wanna make it more country specific or more specific to what you were talking about in your own class. 
you can add your own discussion questions and you can add an and finally which is kind of like a wrap-up type of thought so I have this is let's just say I'm happy with the way it is maybe I make some changes but I'm happy I'm happy with the way it is I can hit publish and it's going to ask me now that it's published into my section do I want my students to log in with a TEDEd account it's free for them to do that and it keeps track it always puts their name in and I can keep track of who's doing what or I could have students just use this um, with their own nicknames or names um, they don't have to log in depends on how you want to do that I can see I got an email notification about that already okay so I am going to uh, say they don't require it I can share my lesson it gives me a link here I can copy to clipboard or I can just highlight and copy and paste unnecessary just click on the copy and once that is we can open up I'm gonna pretend I'm a student coming in now and this is what the student would come to they would come here they would hit the think they would hit the dig deeper they would hit the discuss and when they do this they can respond but they have to put in a nickname and then they can reply back all uh, right so here is a lesson but I want to actually show you how you can review the student work afterwards so let's just say I have a lesson here and I have 13 students um, I can click on the lesson to see what it looked like I can click through the questions and see the discussion if I actually go to the discussion I can actually see view the discussion I can see all of the things that my students wrote about this um, but I can also go in if I go back here in this particular one 13 students so I click on the 13 students it shows me the students how long it took them to get it correct how many attempts it took them that type of thing in total so there's um, the number of attempts is based on like if you have four questions and they do it correct right off the bat that's four attempts so um, these are correct first attempts and total attempts afterwards if they go back and redo some of them I can also review individual students and see how well they've done and see what they put in for the discussion individually so that's kind of nice it keeps everything all nice and tidy now what happens if you have a video that you found on YouTube that you would want to just make into a lesson that's where you hit create a lesson and in here this is where you can either paste in a YouTube URL or you can do a search so I'm gonna actually take one that I have from here from it's okay to be smart and I'm gonna just um, grab one here on daylight savings time the next Copy time you that. find yourself carrying out the twice and I'm gonna go in here and paste this search and it will show this one I click on it and say continue and now I can create my lesson so I can do all the things the let's begin that's just kind of talks about in generally what we're gonna be doing a very introductory thing I think part that's our multiple choice or just our, our open-ended questions dig deeper that's where I supply some text with some links and things like that for them to explore the, the subject further the discuss where the, I have a discussion question I can pose a discussion question guided discussion in this case and they can then answer to that and they can also put in their own open and the unfinally something to tie it up to bring it all back together and I can also crop the video I can click on this and I can actually decide where I want it to lot. start and Farmers stop hated the idea from the beginning. and so that allows me to make some adjustments in there as well too so there's nothing in here I've done so I can't hit publish at this point because I haven't done anything um, but in essence at the end of this you could hit publish and again choose whether you want it to be um, uh, available to your students without an account or with an account so there you are there's the TED ed platform now how could you use this well obviously this works very well in a listening classroom for example with ELLs um, the English language learners can come in watch a video respond with questions and you can give feedback on how well they're doing it it works very well with EAP students so English for academic purposes um, students who are preparing to take notes I had done it with a, a note-taking thing they had to take notes and then reply back um, with the, the questions and that type of thing um, it can also just work for content related uh, lessons so if you have a class for example you have a, a history class or something like that you could build lessons off of this so that is it it's free it's easy to use it's very flexible and it does not have to be TED related necessarily although there are a number of good videos there from TED ed that you could use so if you're happy with this 
and you're interested in more videos, make sure that you subscribe. And if you have any questions or anything, you can comment below or you can go to my website, nathanhall.ca, and you can click on contact me and send me an email. Thank you very much.